Yes, what's up everybody? Welcome once again to my YouTube channel at Otenga Junior. Guys, in case this is your first time discovering this YouTube channel, please consider by subscribing. And uh, to my dearest returning subscribers who always come back to watch my videos, I want to take this opportunity and say thank you so much and God bless you. I don't take it for granted. Guys, I am here at Mama Aboy and uh, there is a great deed that has been being taking place here since uh, uh, we started this project of course this one is just a added value added eh, there is something that i need to say okay we are adding we are beautifying this particular home guys english is not our first language but there is something that i wanted to say but it is not coming through so you know if it would have been my language, I would have said it directly. But now it is English, you know. I have to be thinking in Luo, translating, hey, mind. In our mind, we have got a lot of things that is crawling, man. And I wish, by the way, do you know there is nobody who can make something that act, that works like a mind? The computer scientist, those who, who learn computer programming, which language do you think the mind is, is, is operating based on? Anyway, let me not check into that. That is too much. This one, it was done. Okay, guys, it is beautiful. I know people are now against here. I'm sorry, guys, when I say that. It is might be too much. But uh, we have to accomplish what we started. I'm sorry. In case maybe I say something wrong that might uh, bring uh, trouble to somebody. I'm sorry. We are here and uh, we are about to finish the project. Here is what we were adding. Look how now a boy's house is looking. We were to put in front of it to look like that so that he can do the sweeping. Okay, I had a plan of putting different tiles on this, but I said it is going to be too much mixture in the compound. So I said, since the painting on the houses are the same, now what if the tiling also be the same? Okay, it is looking so nice. Thank you so much, Anko, and God bless you. Yeah, so you can see from here, this is how it is looking. Wow, very, very nice, guys. Now, once he's uh, cleaning this, it will be very, very easy for him to also clean here. Wow, you see? Wow. Yeah, these people, a boy is living in an era where he's uh, having modern things while he's still young, which is so good, you know? He's going to make him to work so hard because if he doesn't work so hard, he might enjoy this one while he's young and don't enjoy while he is now a big man. And also, this one also we did yesterday. Wow, so that is Mama Boy's compound. And there is a time I'll be giving you now full tour of Mama Boy's compound. Only tour. Wow, and on the other side you can see Mama Boy's charity toilet. Yeah, being sponsored by our subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody who donated, including sister, uh, including Auntie S. Here, as you can see, the work is still ongoing. And uh, just to show you, well, this is a uh, toilet. Wow, I tell you, it is going to look so nice. So my friend is cutting the circle where the toilet, toilet seat is going to be placed. So Mama Boy is the first person to have tiles inside her toilets in Kitempe village. I want to take also this opportunity to say thank you so much, Uncle, and God bless you. That is what is taking place, and he is just about to finish. So these ones are the ones that we are putting at the yeah, toilet. Because Mama Boy sometimes said, oh, I like those styles so much. So that is what we are putting for her. Wow. So as you can see, it is looking so, so amazing. So nice, I tell you. Wow, as you go up to down, 
I tell you guys. Wow. Guys, I have got a lot today. Right now, it is around 5. I have to go to Migori Town. It is around 5. It is 4.49. Tuesday, 26 March. So I want you to uh, pray for the safe journey till I reach to Migori. Then I come back. It is almost night, but I have to go because there is an emergency. A friend just called that uh, I am being needed emergency over there. And if I don't go today, it would have been possible if I go tomorrow. But tomorrow, there is work that I need to go and do at Mama Alex's place. That is the reason as to why in the initial video I said at uh, Mama Obama Charity Project, I'll just be going there back on Thursday. Because tomorrow I have got, I have to go far to Mama Alex land to put the barbed wire all over. So guys, be with us and thank you so much. By the way, hey, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much, Annie Ben, uh, for the support that you gave us at uh, the funeral. You sent us fifty dollars, which was around, which is around six thousand and some shillings on top. You said this one, Otenga. Yeah put it so that it can help in the funeral where we lost a young girl called Beatrice. Guys, thank you so much Annie Ben and God bless you abundantly. Whoever still want to support uh, us to give Beatrice a good layoff, we really really welcome the support. God bless you and you continue with that. We will be catching up once I give I reach to Migori because I also going to meet Mama Alex to give her school fees money that was sent to us, to her, by our one and only Auntie Karena. Thank you so much and God be with you. Wow, guys, uh, after a long journey from the village up to here, I'm in Migori. If you can see, yeah, so you know, I'm not within the CBD, I'm in the residential. Um, and uh, this uh, residential place that I am is called Oruba in Migori town and uh, I just need to do something here for Mom Alex then uh, we will be catching up guys yeah so let's be in this journey together and uh, thank you for your prayers for the journey masses till I reach here in Migori so after here i am going to head towards beba frank then uh, it is just going to be another journey to the village so from there also i'm going to ask you to pray for me for the journey masses let's do this uh, finally i am inside mama mama alex this is mama alex guys even though it is a little bit dark let me stand from here here yeah. It is okay. Yeah, so the reason as to why I'm here, guys, Auntie Karena sent us some money. Do you remember in the initial video, I gave Obama uh, Obama and Juliet some books. And again, uh, now I am here. In that money, it was also supposed to be helping Kathy and Whitney. I got information that Whitney is sleeping. So because it's, it just finished raining, guys. And right now it is in the evening. So uh, we've done the calculation, how much is needed for Kathy up to second term, and again, how much is how much is needed for Whitney up to second term. We want to pay for them. So you say this one is Jack. Jacob. Oh, uh, Jacob. Mm. And this one is George. George. Jack. So his short short form is Jack. Mm. <laughs> Guys, is called Jack and George. They're twins. Yeah, the funny thing is uh, George, George is playful, but Jack is not playful as uh, him. Yeah, so Mama Alex, one of our friend, one of our auntie called Auntie Karena, who supported them to go to school, also gave me some money again so that you can go and pay for them. So guys... I am going to give Mama Kathy 6,000 Kenyan shillings. This money, uh, 1,500 will go to Whitney. Then uh, uh, 4,500 will go to Kathy. Kathy pays 2,500 per term, but her mom had already paid 
500 Kenyan shillings. So she was remaining with 500 this term. The next term is, uh, no, 2,000 this term. And next term is uh, 2,500. So that is 4,400 plus 500, 4,500 plus uh, 1,500 is 6,000 Kenyan shillings. So first of all, let me give her the 6,000. So here, here, Mama Kathy, that is uh, from Auntie Karen. How much is that? 6,000. 6,000 Kenyan shillings, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is the money that uh, Auntie said I bring to you for your children to go to school. What do you tell her? I'm happy. Yes. Because Kathy is going to pay school fee. Yes. So now, uh, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. God bless her. Yeah. God bless her. Yeah. Because my child is going to learn yeah. in the school. Okay. I'm happy. God oh, yeah. bless her. God yeah. bless her. And Kathy, what do you tell Auntie Karena who supported you? Thank you so much. Yeah. You're happy, yeah? Yes. Yeah, guys, this is Kathy, and we are hoping for the best for them so that she can learn. Guys, you remember this child, Kathy here? She was in the village with her mom when her mom was going to the garden to dig, uh, to weed for people or to work at the garden for the people. She was being home with the two boys because nobody was to be with them. Now, because of the state of what was happening to her mom. So that through that, our people came together and said, let's support Mama Kathy with uh, giving her money to buy food for the children so that she can be home so Kathy can go to school. Guys, I think you guys can see the change. With her going to school, you can see she's very happy and also Whitney is also happy. So Mama Kathy, just keep on praying and uh, our God will open more doors for blessings for you, okay? And uh, also I want to give you 1,000 Kenyan shillings, Mama Kathy. I want to give you 1,000. You can give them even 20 shillings to go and eat in school, okay? Yeah, or maybe if there is something that, you know, we are giving you fixed money. Yeah, for food alone. But maybe there is something that the children might need, even a milk. So use this 1,000 Kenyan shillings to buy for them the milk. Guys, in the money that her auntie sent, yeah, there are some money that she said I should use in transport. So I am giving her that 1,000 so that uh, she can use it to buy milk for the children. She can buy anything, even rice, whatever the children want, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And why are you sad, Mama Kathy? Why are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just not going to take too much time. Uh, Kathy's fault is, I'm not going to take too much time of Mama Kathy. Yes, yeah, so we will be catching up with more update. I just bring that to them and God bless you abundantly. For me, Otenga Jun, I just want to say one love. We're still catching up. Yeah, guys, before I end this video, I'm asking Mama Kathy because, you know, uh, there's something good that will be happening to her very soon. So I'm asking her if she has got health insurance, NHIF. Do you have NHIF? But you have got national ID. Yes. So we need to apply for you one because you know you are alone and only NHIF can help you when maybe you get sick or the children get sick. So I know. Uh, do you think they create one in Migori Hospital? Okay. Or do we, do we have an NHIF office here? Poster. Oh, poster. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, you one if I get money we'll bring to you so that uh, you can uh, uh, go and we can go and you apply then uh, now you, we pay for even the only year. guys the only is 6000 Kenyan shillings so that she can be in the system yeah mama like since the children they disturb a lot i can see i am going to add you this one 1000 Kenyan shillings yeah yeah so that uh, you can buy buy them whatever they want okay yeah, so that they don't disturb you a lot. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank Guys, you so much. Uh, thank you, I'm happy. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah guys uh, the money that Auntie Karena sent it was 14,000 Kenyan shillings and uh, I am going to use I've already used 1,500 let me just say 3,000 because I've been buying something for Obama family and uh, 6,000 was to come here then she said the remaining will be used to help me in transportation but I decided to add Mama Alex 2,000 Kenyan shillings for the children because these two two one two young ones they disturb a lot they doesn't know <laughs> no problem mama alex god be with you keep on praying okay you. and you kathy bye bye okay mama alex bye bye don't let me know what you're talking about you're talking about you're talking about guys thank you so much and god bless you wow that is done guys I just want to reach where the motorbike is. I go to Baba Frank. I need also to take good care of him too. Wow, the thing I like is somebody is in town but they have got vegetables here. You can see? Yeah, so they help themselves. They don't buy. Yeah, you know? Wow, guys, here we are. Let's be in this jar. Let me head to Baba Frank. Maybe if I get a chance, I can include him on camera so that you guys get to see him. In case I don't do that, I'll be explaining to you how he is doing. Pray for us so that I reach to where he is safely. Wow, guys, finally, I am here at the hospital. This is how not the hospital that Baba Frank is. It's looking, guys. I know it is uh, prohibited to record inside. But I'll try. In case they bring issues. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. This is Migori, the far off hospital. <sighs> wow, so that is maternity. On the other side is maternity. That is the pharmacy. Wow. I'm gonna hold because I wanna pass where there are some soldiers. Wow, guys, I did manage to get inside the hospital, even though there were some complaints like the time has passed. This is Baba Frank, and today you can see this guy is faring a little bit well. He is moving. Wow. Yeah, he's being helped by Moses, the journalist. And Moses is going to be here. Uh, today, Moses came. Oh, you want to sit here, Baba Fra? That uh, way I'm sitting. Oh. Anytime I get tired, yes. I come here to relax. Yes. Oh, to relax, yeah? yeah. Wow. Oh. Wow. But you'll get used to it, yeah? And guys, as you can see, yeah, this leg, it was very, very big. It was swollen, but today it is moving along very well. Wow. So I'm hoping everything shall be well. You know, uh, sometimes back, he couldn't manage to come outside. But nowadays, you can see he's coming outside. So, Baba Frank, you know, people have missed you. People have not heard from you. Maybe they want to hear from you today. Okay. Uh, they want, they want to hear how you are doing. I'm very happy to meet you out. Who bring me now today, I can be out. To see people moving, houses here. Yes. I'm very much what God do for me. Yeah. I can just say thanks for God. Plus also who's, help, who's helping me. Yeah. Which make me to come out like this where I am. Yeah. Always I'm going pray God. And people always pray for me. Yeah. That's why I'm living as well. Yeah. Yes. 
people are praying for you. Yeah. They are saying, you know, people are supporting you through prayers. Yeah. They are supporting us financially. Let me tell you, if it were not our people yeah. who supported us, I don't know how it would have been. Okay. Because this, we couldn't manage to do this on our own. But through the support that they gave us, now you are being given a first class treatment in, in a public hospital. Nice good. Amen. Well, guys, this is Baba Frank. Baba Frank got injury at Mama Obama, a charity project, when he was directing the vehicle to pour the sand. But unfortunately, the vehicle did not see him. Yes, so it got uh, stepped on him. Okay, there is a question that people have been saying, Otenga, why don't you sue the guy who got injury to Baba Frank so that uh, he can pay Baba, the insurance can pay Baba Frank? But uh, this was an accident, you know? So I, okay, we, had, we have already talked with Baba Frank and there is something that Baba Frank told me about that because I told him, should we sue these people so that he, we can pay, he can be responsible or pay, pay us? Then Baba Frank told me, if I'm not wrong, that uh, if we do that, it is not going to be a good thing because uh, his injury, it wasn't, he wasn't injured so that he get to make money out of it. I hope that is what you said, Baba Frank. Yes. Yeah, so guys, that is a question that people are asking me if that guy is going to be uh, responsible. Okay, he has been coming through, coming to check him in the hospital. He supported us by taking Baba Frank to the hospital, using his vehicle, and he has come here to check, to look f uh, for you. Coming always. He, he always come? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, just look at that. So he did not know. Baba Frank also did not know because it was an accident. So he was uh, in front of the vehicle and that guy did not see him in front. So that is how it happened. So, okay, I don't know. Okay, maybe me is when I, is the person who is seeing things differently. But I, I don't want to do what we call taking advantage of a, a something. Like, okay, it happened like this. Now I want to take advantage of it so that I can't bring trouble to that guy. It wasn't his plan. I'm not. I'm not like. Uh, how do you call it? Kutatia, uh, Okay, I'm not defending this guy. Yes, I'm not defending him. But you know, this guy also have a family to feed. He also have got things that are moving. So he also was shocked seeing Baba Frank in jail. So there is no, I'm um, seeing there is no point of uh, maybe uh, bringing attention to this guy, making him to feel like, you know, you have to do it. And, you know, I don't know how I can express this, guys, but I just don't want to take advantage over others. Because the same thing can happen to Baba Frank, because Baba Frank is also a driver. He can also step on somebody, and that somebody, if somebody said, oh, now you need to pay me, you know, so... It is 50-50, uh, so just understand me, guys, and uh, I always believe in doing good. I don't believe in hurting others. But, guys, we are blessed. Why am I saying that we are blessed? Is because Baba Frank got injury and people came through to support him. Yeah, and we are hoping sometimes coming, Baba Frank will be home. Baba Frank, yes. we are praying for you always. Yeah, keep being strong. And I had to come. You know, you called me come. Then I, to, I say I had to come. So that at least we see what we can do. Because tomorrow I'll be busy somewhere. Thursday too I'll be busy. And again, as you know, we have got funeral at home. We are working up and down to make things happen. Yeah, guys, this is Bobo Frank. And uh, Moses, hello. Hi. Maybe you can just say hello to our dearest viewers. Okay. Uh, once again, thank you for hosting me on YouTube channel. Uh, it is a gracious moment 
that I'm also meeting by front again. Yeah. And the good thing is uh, it uh, I found that the leg today it has a little bit reduced. Yeah, it is so not it's swollen. It's not that swollen. Yeah. So we are seeing a positive change. Yeah. Of which uh, uh, by God's grace it all shall be well. Yeah. And, uh, we shall have gotten his full recovery. Yeah. And that is what we are praying for. And also to our lovely donors, those who have been supporting us just financially and also in prayers, uh, I want to take this mighty opportunity to give you much thank you. And may God bless you people who have been so supportive to us. Yeah, and also to me, most of journalists, uh, I got my YouTube channel that is most of the journalists. Please, it is my humble request that you also check into me uh, so that my YouTube channel also can grow yeah. and develop because. Uh, I'm, I'm about to go to school, that is the university, and I also need your support. Just as you have been supporting me in high school, I also need, I still need your support so that I can uh, go in uh, university and finish it well. Thank you, and may God bless you. Okay. Wow. Well, Frank, yes. all the best. I'll be leaving, but not now. You know, we have to talk outside camera. <laughs> Guys had already come, we had already storied. So we're still going to store a little bit. Here it's not far. Yeah, even if I leave here at 7.30, like right now it is 6.56, I'll just be home for a bigger deal tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting us. And God bless you. From your Tenga Juni, I just want to request a few things. Number one, keep on praying for Baba Frank. And in any support that you still want to support Baba Frank, because... The bigger thing that is uh, waiting for us is uh, there is a part of his body that will be taken around the thighs. You see around here, there is a, gra a skin that will be taken so the grafting can take place here. So that is the step that we are going to and we are hoping it will also go successful. So that's why we are requesting for your prayers. Then uh, also, yeah. Another thing that we are requesting for guys is uh, Grandma Bravis. Her charity project is pending. But as I said yesterday, day, I am hoping we finish that project and then we go towards another project. Also, Mama Obama charity project, we also are uh, somewhere with it. As we continue with the work, we'll be keep you updated. Whoever still want to support us financially, towards these two projects, that is Grandma Bravis and Mama Obama, you are highly welcome because through finance, it can be done. Let's say I wake up and I get a whole amount that can complete this project. I tell you, it can take me a week, uh, two weeks. Give me only two weeks, those projects, two of them, it will be done. What Number one thing that uh, people must learn is you have to de be dedicated in whatever you are doing. And uh, that is what has been helping me throughout because I am dedicated to deliver. And uh, you, I, I, I don't know, but uh, that is according to maybe somebody might see it otherwise. Anyway guys, thank you so much. From me, Otenga Jun, I want to say one love. Pray for me so that I reach home safely. Here we are with Baba Frank and Moses. We just want to say bye-bye. 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 God bless. <laughs> you say God bless, eh? <laughs>